during the last outbreak of armed extremism, which of course was the BLM riots of 2020, and former Army sergeant called Daniel, per Daniel Perry was driving for Uber in Austin, Texas. He was an Uber driver. He's in his car, and a mob of rioters surround him in the middle of the street and begin hitting his car. One member of the mob was a man called Garrett Foster. Foster is a militant with a history of waving his rifle at people. He approached Perry's driver's side window with an AK-47. Then he raised the rifle, and when he did that, Perry shot and killed him in self-defense. The lead detective in the case and the Austin police concluded it was a justified shooting. If that's not a justified shooting, there's no such thing. But because Austin, Texas, the justice system is overseen by a Soros-funded DA, Perry was charged with murder for defending himself. And tonight, we are sad to tell you, this man, a military veteran driving an Uber car, was convicted of murder. And what does that mean? It means that in the state of Texas, if you have the wrong politics, you're not allowed to defend yourself. So this is a legal atrocity. It's so obviously unjust that tonight we extended an invitation to the sitting governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, to come on this show on Monday. And we wanted to ask if he was considering a pardon for Daniel Perry. But for some reason, Governor Greg Abbott's office told us he just can't make it and that we should talk to the Attorney General of Texas, Ken Paxton, instead. So hey there, Freedom Fighters. Back with another one. So I was watching this bullshit. Pissed me off. Thought I'd make a quick one on this. You know, these guys, these rhinos, these spineless, you know, politicians, man. They're not going to defend you. They're not going to back you up. They don't care. You know, and when I and look at my previous videos, you're in the second civil war. You know, this is this is how a modern day civil war gets fought. You know, and they're out there burning down cities, looting, you know, and you defend yourself while working at that. You know, and they're not going to back you up. You know, luckily Tucker's at least bringing light to it and calling it out. You know, I said it from the beginning with uh, the Kyle situation. Uh, you know, I was saying, you know, the only reason I think he got, you know, let go was because Tucker put so much light on it, that, you know, issue. And everyone, really, from the whole community was like, no, you know, if you convict this kid, you know, it's game over. Um, and I remember when this event happened and I was saying like, you know, why aren't people focusing on this that much? You know, and they kind of just let it go and, you know, here it is. Now he's getting convicted, going to prison for defending yourself, defending your country. Because, make no mistake, these are Marxists that have infiltrated your country and have declared war on you. You know, they're literally out in the streets burning the city down, you know. And they're directing traffic with an AK-47. And then he comes over and points it at your window. You know, and then there's Greg Abbott and all these, uh, you know, rhino uh, politicians that claim to be on your side. They're never there to back you up when shit goes down. You can count on that, that's for sure. You know, the last time he showed up on Tucker, he actually got grilled um, for saying, you know... Uh, something about the border, I forget what it was, and he was like, oh yeah, it's an, it's an invasion, and, and they don't mean it, you know, they use these terms to get you going and rile you up and say, yeah, that's my guy, he doesn't mean it's an invasion, you know, they, they arrest people, I remember watching a thing where a militia group uh, rounded up some illegals and put uh, cuffs on them or zip ties, and brought them to the border patrol agents. And they got arrested. And one of them was like a felon or something. He had a firearm on him. And they arrested him for felon in possession of a firearm. And the whole rest of the group. For uh, felony kidnapping. And it's like what the hell man. They're doing your job for you. You're the border patrol. They're doing it. You know. is it Was Greg Abbott there to back them up? And, you know, I always say, uh, you know, these politicians need to, you know, say what they mean and mean what they say. 
and and they use these words, but they don't actually mean them. Uh, you know, and Trump, Trump I, I got on Trump for that very same thing. You know, Trump used to throw treason around a lot. He would say, this is treason, that's treason, they're treasonous. Well, do you know what treason means? Because that's, that's you know, a capital offense at the highest, you know, highest form. You know, you, you hang these people. You execute treason. You know, you don't you throw that term around lightly. But, you know, he was never talking about hanging anybody or doing anything. And then if you're like, hey, you know, uh, you know that wouldn't look good. You know, people, people don't want to, you know, see people strung up on the Capitol lawn anymore or anything like that. You know, uh, uh, we want to do this humanely or whatnot. Fine, do it humanely. Charge them with their crimes find them guilty, and use lethal injection then. You know, that that's fine if you don't want to go the other route. And, you know, Greg Abbott, you know, the last time he was on Tucker, he got grilled, and he was calling in an invasion, and Tucker was like, well, where, where are the, you know, the tanks at? Where, where's the military presence and the National Guard? And Abbott was like, oh, you know, our National Guard is is run real thin, and, um, you know, we, we spread them out through all 50 states. And Tucker was like, what, are you bragging about that? Like, why aren't they on the border? Why aren't they, you know, helping do the job? You know, and then, uh, you know, there's other militia groups out there, and, you know, patrolling, and, and you, you the gun in your barrel can't even focus the way of the Mexican side. You know, they'll charge you for that, too, if you point a gun towards Mexico. Yet they're literally sending, you know, millions of illegals through fentanyl, you know, all kinds of drugs and all kinds of shit. You know, but we, we don't charge those crimes. So if you're going to say invasion, mean the word invasion. You know, don't don't say it so you could get on Fox and promote your new book or whatever bullshit you got going on. You know, and I know people are going to say, oh, freedom will, what do you mean? You mean like, you know, you're going to like literally go to war and like, you know, you want us to shoot these people or something? Well, is it an invasion or not? You know, pick your words carefully if you don't mean invasion then. You know, it, would you would you think any differently if it was Red Dawn and China was parachuting through the sky or Russia or anybody else? And there's planes going across the sky, and they're, you know, paratroopers coming down, and they, you know, they're fully armed, and you know, they're gassing the public or drugging the public, and you went out there outside of your house and went to war and started shooting them. You think people would be like, "Oh, that, that's not justified. Like, like, that's your duty," you know? That that's what it is. That's what an invasion is. You know, so don't use these words. You know, if you don't mean them, and they don't, and, and and if you ever, you know, take control, and you try to get your country back, and you do what you feel necessary, you know, they're they're not these guys aren't going to back you. They're again, they're all about their book deals and their, you know, their bullshit. You know, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it. The rant and. You know, and of course I gotta do like a, I gotta make a uh, risky, crispy, uh, like disclaimer video where, you know, I'm not encouraging you to go do anything and don't go tell the government that I said to go do it because here I am telling you not to, you know. Well, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. And you know, like I said, man, no one's coming to save you out here. Get right with God because only he can save you. Freedom Fighters out.